We are live. Hello, friend. Thank you for joining me, whether you are live or on the replay. Let's take a look at the updated Botany Science Unit from The Good and the Beautiful. We are going to take a look at every page, every item of this. We'll kind of glance over all the books set, but definitely every page and every item in the game. Let's jump in with the course book. Okay, here we go. We've got botany. This one has 13 lessons. Here's the book pack here and then the game and the flower study. And we also have the extension book. I love doing the extension lessons with my kiddos, whether they are in the age range for it or not. We just do them together as a family. Supplies needed. My suggestion is to check through them. Look at the lessons if there's something you don't have and make sure you're going to do it before you really worry about purchasing it. Vocabulary words. I like to just put a little flag on here and then we just review them in the book through each lesson. If at any point you would like me to speed up or slow down, there's a little settings button down in the bottom right hand corner where you can adjust the speed of the video and get just what you need out of it. If we haven't met that, if we haven't met yet, hi there, I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share it works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. And if you ever have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. I love being a part of your homeschool journey or your just your journey in life and family. I feel like this would be a fun one to do in the spring, but here you have bits of fall. So really, you can put it in at any point, it looks like. Or if you could time it right, and you're a family that, or you're a, a teacher, a mom, a homeschool parent that does not worry about getting through the entire unit at a specific time, you can kind of break it up and do certain lessons during the seasons that they would apply, which could be really fun. a fun little addition to that. All right, let's check a look at the student journals. Grades three through six here. Oh, looks like we've got someone hopping on in the chat. Oh, those are held for review. We're good, we're good. Okay, some crazy comments there. I'm so glad that you guys don't have to see them. So these, all of these items used to probably be in the course book or really in the course pages and then you would have to like make copies of them. And now they are nicely put in a little journal for your kitty to have it all in one concise place. And something that if you need to do submit work, examples of work, these are probably a great thing to submit for the science units that you do. All right, in the student journal for the older grades, you get the lesson extensions for the kiddos. And then the difference in the activities will tend to be that the older students just get a little more freedom in their thing and the younger students have a little more guidance. Well, there's the same here. Sometimes they are the same. You'll also see a difference in the um, imagery sometimes. Let's see if we can get, there we go. Here in the older students, you have some letters missing that you get to fill in. And in the younger students, they're just going to be, I'm assuming drawing a line to the definition. All right, let's continue on here. Lesson extension. See, plant movement. This is why I love to do them as a family, regardless of the age of my children, because you get to just dive deeper into some really cool topics. Oh, this would probably be a great 
great lesson, especially if you have allergy in, in your family, whether they're immediate or extended or classmates or not classmates, like, well, classmates in the, you know, like gym, like gymnastics class or all of that. If you have any friends in classes at whatever they may do that you outsource or church or whatever, could be a great lesson to cover. If you are interested in any other science units from the good and the beautiful, I have every updated or new unit that they have put out so far since they have been changing things to the student journals, they will be linked in a playlist down below for you. And as new units are released, I will be doing flip throughs of them for you as soon as I get them just like this. All right, let's take a look at the flower game. Well, the flower game comes with the book. So we'll probably take a look at that first. We have the book study and the flower game. This is a book. Gives you a whole, maybe it's, it looks like it's like encyclopedia -y, which would make sense on a flower study. I love the beautiful colors and imagery in these books. All right, then you have the index so that you can get a quick look and reference. Okay, the flowers game, let's check this out. So it comes in this cute little box and we're going to Open it up, it's nice and stiff, okay. Oh, I don't dare open it farther than that. But in the cover here, we have, let's see, maybe some instructions, just the different colors you're gonna be doing for the game, pick a flower. Each player must be familiar with the 10 colors on the cards. Use this color guide or the one on the instruction pamphlet as needed. Symbols are included for players with color vision deficiencies. Well, that's cool. So if your child is colorblind or you are, there is some help in there. Here's the instruction pamphlet. It folds out, gives you instructions on how to play. All right. Let's see, is that too... That looks like two different ways to play. Pick a flower and sun hat. Okay, so maybe you can play two different games with this. We've got here, here's a little symbol if the colors are not coming through. That is cool. So it looks like these are going to be all of those flowers that we saw in the book. So as they come across ones that are, I'm sure you can find many ways to use these cards as a game with the book. Whether if you're having them search to find it or whatever that may be. Maybe you can quiz them a little. One of the kids can hold the book and be flipping through and finding the answers and asking questions to the other to the group. Well, there's the cards, the instructions, and they go in this cute little box. Okay, let's look at the book pack. Here are the two books that come in the book pack. They are little like paperback picture books. Oh, we got beautiful little story.
I'm going to guess that this is a story of someone who uh, made a difference. It tells the story of a boy who opened a whole new world to those who come after came after him just by doing what he loved. There you go. Plant Hunters. Story of two women botanists. That's cool. I'm sorry. There we go. I'm trying to get it to lay in a way that you can see it. Okay, let's take a look at the last item, trees and other, I'm sorry, trees and their world. Okay, so we've got, I'm not sure if this is just a, like a reference guide. It does not look, yeah, it looks like a reference guide. It does not look like a story is what I was going to say. Looks like it's just... Nonfiction informational. So the way I do these older books is I just do them as a read aloud. Trees in the World takes its readers on a unique journey from the forest to the swamp. This beautiful book exposes the fascinating inner workings of what are sometimes considered to be plain and ordinary trees. So it could be story based, but still a reference nonfiction information. All right, if we have any questions, let's take a look and see. If you do not have any questions here on the live and you are on the replay, please drop them down below. And I am about to hop on and do the flip through of the new energy, updated energy unit. So go ahead and meet me over there in just a few. 